Tutti here, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to increase your RBG rating. Rated Battleground rating. Some of you guys might have low RBG rating and you wanna increase it. Some of you guys might be stuck. Like say you're stuck at 2100 rating and you're trying to get 2200 rating to get those weapons. I'm gonna show you guys a couple cool tricks to help you get there. First off, let's get into the contest winner. The contest last week was to fill out a survey and we do have a winner, so we're right there. I want to say congratulations, and you, sir, won yourself Razer Megalodon 7.1 surround sound headset. Congratulations. All right, we have a new prize this week. It's going to be right there. It's the Razer Naga 17-button MMO gaming mouse. For a chance to win this prize, all you have to do is leave a comment below in the video. Okay, also, I'm going to be giving away more prizes. Remember that survey I did in the last video? I'm going to extend it. For those of you who already filled out the survey, you guys are already in it and you guys already have a chance to win. If you haven't filled out the survey, you can check in the description below for more chances of winning. I'm gonna be giving away three prizes this week on the survey and one on my main channel, four total prizes, guys. All right, next up, I prepared a little tutorial for you guys, how to increase your RBG rating. Hope you enjoy. All right, are you guys ready to learn some really cool tips and tactics to get high RBG ratings? Here's my warrior, Swifty. I am right now gear capped. Very excited to have finally got in gear camp, where I can't get any more gear until Mr. Pandaria got the best gear in the game. So, which means I don't have to play as much, which is the way I like it. Um, as you can see here, I've got the, the weapon, the 2200 weapon. Very nice, it does a lot of damage. And my RBG rating right now is 2271, which is, which is CR, current rating. That's what a lot of people are gonna be asking you. It was 2300, but it went down because I'm just farming <laughs> conquest points every week. Here's my druid. I play as a boomkin on my druid, and my boomkin also has the 2200 rating. I got gear capped on my druid too. It's got the weapons, it's got the gears, and um, so it's not that hard, guys, to get 2200. Um, I'm gonna hopefully show you how to get to 2200 or close with these tactics. First thing you gotta learn is you gotta do DS every week. DS. You gotta do PVE. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna show you why. First off, you do DS, you farm Conquest. Yeah, I'm sorry, you farm Battle Points when you complete it. There's like two wings. You complete the two wings, you get you've got lots of Battle Points. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with those Battle Points in a little while. You also get Epic Gears. Now, this gear is not as good as the PvP gear, but it's something, and you can get these. These are the best trinkets in the game. If you get Veal of Shadows, Cunning and the Cruel, you can pretty much get into any RBG group. No questions asked. You got that, you're in. This is what you're gonna do with your Valor Points. You're gonna go to the vendor, and you're gonna trade them for Conquest. That way you can start getting your Conquest gear as quickly as possible. You have to get decked out. The most important thing, guys, is you have to get decked out. Um, over here is the um, Honor Vendor. Of course, you can do BGs, farm BGs. It doesn't take much time. You can do it in two or three days. Cap out all your gear with, with Honor gear. And once you start getting Conquest points, you spend them with this vendor. Start gearing up. Also, do the PvP boss. Here is the 2200 better once you get 2200 rating. Upgrade all your stuff. CR means current rating. That's going to be the most important thing to get into RBG groups. A lot of times, when you're looking in trade chats, you want to join a pub group, and they're going to ask you, What is your CR? If it's 1400 CR, current rating, you're going to get into 1400 rated groups or 1500 rated groups. By getting more gear, you will be able to move up the ladder and get higher CR, and you'll be able to join higher rated groups. That's why it's so important. Gear, the best gear, having the best gear will give you more CR, guys. Having the best gear will increase your chances of getting higher CR. And if you have those trinkets, Veal of Shadows or the Cunning Trinket, you might be able to get into groups higher than your own CR. You might be 1400 rated CR, you might be able to get into a 2K rated group just by having those trinkets. All right, one thing you should know is you have to max out your professions. Here I'm gonna show what professions are, what they have. Alchemy, you get a po potion. You get a flask that you can use in arenas and RBGs. That potion is awesome. Uh, jewel crafting is probably one of the best professions. You can get those gems. Of course, you can use gems in arenas and RBGs. Maxes out your stats, increases your stats. Herbalism, herbalism, you could use some of the, these things. You can use life bloom in, in arenas and RBGs, which is good. Gives you haste and a minor healing. With description, you can get this relic. You can make this nice relic um, early in this early in season. And inscription also gives you some of the best shoulder enchants in the game. Next up is leatherworking. 
With leatherworking, you can create the dragon scale leg armors, but of course those are your BOE. You can just buy them in auction house. And you can, you can make drums to help you out in PvP, but you can use this in RBGs or arenas. The only thing you can use are these, which is Draconic Embossment, permanently enchant your bracers with some crazy stats. Next up is mining. I've seen a lot of people take mining because it gives you an extra bonus to stamina. Mining is a good gold farming profession and it gives you that extra stamina. Next up is skinning. Well, I've seen a lot of rogues go skinning. One of the reasons is skinning, well, you can make money off of the mobs that you skin and you, you can get these volatiles. But that doesn't help you in PvP. This helps you in PvP. Master of Anatomy. Increases your critical strike rating by 80. That's why a lot of rogues love that. Tailoring, I see a lot of cloth wearers use this. You can create powerful spell threads that you can put on your pants. But what's even better for PvP is they can create on their cloak special enchants that have chance on proc effects. Like for example, they can uh, while casting a spell, they have a chance to gain 580 intellect when casting a spell, or they have a chance to increase your attack power by a thousand for 15 seconds. So these are chance on proc abilities on your cloak. Next up is blacksmithing. This is what I use. It, for, for blacksmithing, it's a good way to make gold, but I use it for the extra sockets on my yeah. bracers and on my gloves. So I can have added extra gems, and that's the way I stack it. You can mix and match these professions, but it's very important to max out both professions, guys. Add-ons! What add-ons do you use, Swifty? There's one important add-on. It's called Battleground Targets. I recently learned about it once I started doing some serious RBG rating. Battleground Targets is an amazing mod. It lets you see everybody on the other team. It lets you see how many of your teammates are targeting them. You can actually monitor your own team and see if they're doing anything wrong. Um, another thing I, what I do is I like to make a macro, which is assist. You always have to have a macro to assist the person calling out the targets in your group. You should also be talking over Skype or over Ventrilo with, uh, with your teammates. And um, so max out your professions, make sure you have an assist macro. Now let's get into the RBGs. Alright, next okay. up, I'm going to be doing some RBGs on my warrior. I'm spec as a tank, and of course as a tank, when we do maps like AB, I'm left defending. Did you guys kill the rogue or the rogue I'm right here defending the stables. And as you can see, I'm standing far away from my flag. The most, one of the most important thing in RBGs is to know your role, know what you're supposed to do, and always pay attention to what's going on in the game. Right here, I have the battleground targets, and I'm watching, and I'm constantly trying to click on the rogue, the the druids, and the mage. I'm keeping an eye on what they're doing the entire time. Right, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming here. I'm gonna get an ninja cap. Have you guys seen the rogue? As you can, you'll hear in the game. Hurry up! I'm constantly communicating with other people to try to find out where the rogue is and if they're on their way to try to ninja cap them. Anytime I see the rogue, as you can see right here, there's a mage coming toward me. I know the rogue's on the way. The rogue's been MIA for a while, so I'm scared. I'm, I'm shouting out over the vent. I'm going to get ninja cap. Sure enough, um, one of my teammates is coming running over. The mage notices and he takes off. But I know the rogue is still there. So as long as you pay attention to what's going on, you can prevent the ninja cap. And of course, I have more success in the games. In this game, I didn't get ninja cap once. Now, I, I, there was a lot of attempts, and I'm going to show you these attempts. There were a lot of failed attempts, right, but... He's, uh, I don't have Trinket, like this, and the Rogue took off. The Rogue came by himself, and uh, he blinded right, me. He this off. is one of the tactics that the Rogues use. Um, what they do is they want to try to get me to use my Trinket, so that they can come back and Ninja Cat from me, because they know my Trinket's down. They send a Druid and a Rogue over. And, uh, but I have hey, a teammate on the way. I'm talking, uh, there's the rogue trying to ninja cap. Of course, I'd get opened up yes. by the druid. I yes. don't have a trinket. Nice. So, if my teammate hadn't have come nice. and, and helped, they would have ninja cap from me. This is a, this is a well known tactic that works very well. Um, if I'm solo defending a flag, I don't have my trinket. If a mage and a rogue comes, it's almost a guaranteed cap on me. Even a, even a druid. Almost a guaranteed cap. A rogue will drop down a smoke bomb, start right, capping. We killed the, we killed the I get stunned into a cyclone, whatever. It's, it's GG. And rogue are just stealth. M -I -A. You notice I'm constantly clicking on the battleground targets. I'm constantly clicking them on everyone. I want to see what they're doing, who they're targeting, where they are on the map. I always call it out. They'll tell me, hey, where's the rogue? I saw him at the mines. Okay, I'm not, I'm not that worried. <laughs> My role as a flag carrier is to pay attention to what's going on the map and making sure that well, I know I'm where the rogues are, where the mages are, and where the druids are. 
Now, if you're in another class, you have, you have other roles to follow, but one of the most important things is uh, listening to one, listening to the person calling out The moment I see the rogue, I'll tell you. Once you guys get into higher rated RPG groups, you're going to notice they're a lot more organized. You have one person calling out the targets. Watch out for the Alright, the druid's here, druid's here. I got the druid out of stealth. Cyclone. I countered him. The rogue's ninja capping, and I got him. But the whole goal of this is, guys, is to try to get your C CR up as high as you can. The best way to do it is by having the best gear, having the mods that you need in RBGs, having the macros to assist, and making sure that you're very quick at assisting. Um, when, when you have someone calling out targets, and they call out a target, everyone, everyone else assists instantly, you guys can blow up a target. It's a matter of being quick about it and, uh, and practicing, guys. You can do it. Hope this little guy has helped you. Oh yeah! Nice. Frap for the win! Alright, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial guide on how to increase your RBG rating. And I really hope it helps you. If you guys have any kind of advice you want to give, you can leave it below in the comments. Or if you want to leave a video response on tricks and tips you guys have to increase your RBG ratings, I'll be sure to like and favorite them. So leave them below as a video response. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, Swifty here. Thanks for watching.